Well, good morning. It is a fantastically wet morning so far. Uh, for those of you who follow the Facebook page for the Angler Files, you would have seen about 3 a.m. I started posting that today is another event for the Wild Carp Club of Ontario. And uh, today we're on the Grand River fishing out of Caledonia. Uh, this morning we started out by gathering together and registering at Caledonia Bait and Tackle. Beautiful little shop, uh, definitely something I'm going to want to check out some more of. Uh, you know, as I fish here more often over the next couple of years. And uh, we're all set up in a nice big park. There's actually quite a few of us today. We're spread out a uh, pretty good distance along the bank. Um, water looks good. The rain has actually let up a bit. It was quite, uh, quite a rough drive in this morning, but uh, she's looking pretty good. And uh, so far this morning, we've got the bait out. I'm actually set up in this swim with Jan, another member of the club, uh, who we fish with at other events as well. And, uh, kind of tag teaming this spot, hoping that we can really draw a lot of fish in and stir things up. We're using both different tactics, different scents, different uh, flavors, and uh, hopefully it'll produce for us. And just moments ago, down to my right, uh, we all got the big buzz and a fish was on. You know, just started, already a fish in, but turns out it was a catfish. So great to get a fish started and know that the fish are moving around, but uh, unfortunately not yet a carp. So here's hoping. We've seen some fish rise over the bait already and uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. So stick with us and here comes the fun. That was a he heck of a take. Oh no. Well, how did, how did it feel? Fish. That's right. You're in the spin, swim right beside us. Doesn't move. It didn't move. I thought it was a turtle or something. Basically, what it is is uh, uh, basically think of it like Al Alka Seltzer for fish. So the second this hits water, it's going to bubble and fizz and release all of the fish oil and corn oil that's in the ball. So what that oh, does wow. is um, basically triggers the hunting instinct because it creates a, a visual disturbance that basically mimics a school of minnows or bait fish feeding in the area. So the fish come in thinking that there's something for them to eat. They show up and all they find is your bait, essentially. So. Think of it almost like chumming the water without chum, so you're not actually feeding the fish. You're basically just uh, just sort of uh, sparking their curiosity and uh, bringing them to, to the area wherever you're fishing. So in a river like this, basically, when you, when you throw the ball in, it'll uh, the scent cloud will travel downstream. Um, if you're, say, uh, vertical jigging or ice fishing, uh, wherever you drop the ball, the scent will be released through the entire water column, literally from lake bed to surface, uh, because the bubbles actually carry the scent through the entire water column. 
and with little to no current, that scent will actually linger for up to two hours. We've marked it on sonar for, our, for up to two hours at a time, and uh, and it'll actually hold fish on the spot because essentially they come in to feed on whatever they think they're about to feed on, and all they find is your bait. So they, it'll hold them on the spot because they're essentially dumbfounded with curiosity. They, they can't figure out what, what's going on. So I actually have a ball for all of you guys if you want to try them out today. And uh, like what I said, so this is corn for you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Too. Yeah, we have um, garlic, Thank you. Uh, anise, corn, and uh, shad oil. Um, sorry, also we have, we have coffee as well. Can I get three of these before? I don't know. Yeah. I'll try them out. We, uh, we have a couple of videos online and uh, <laughs> website, more info and things. We're actually coming out. What's the chemical science oh, okay. behind this? Like, what is the compound? Do you use any chemical like this? Top secret. I have to kill you or you have to kill me. I'll have to kill you. But no, I mean, um, like I said, all the ingredients are completely natural. There's, there's nothing that will harm the environment. Once the ball is completely dissolved, there are no remnants left in the water whatsoever. Um, you could actually eat, I mean, not right now because they're, they're pretty well rock hard, but you could essentially eat the, the ingredients because they are made for human consumption. Essentially what we do is we just repurpose them. Uh, I think that was you, Jan. That was me. You, somebody get in a bike. Alright, alright. I'm good. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine guys. That's, I just wanted to give you guys a sample and uh, tell you uh, tell you a little bit about it. But I mean, uh, there's a hundred different applications for the product. I love how that fizzes. Yeah, I mean, it'll... Uh, so you have to imagine as well, this is this is still sinking the entire time, right? So these, these large ones, they'll last for about 10, 10 minutes. That's from the thing. No, I didn't. Uh, the yeah, they'll, uh, these will last for about 10 minutes. The smaller balls, they'll last for about 5 minutes and hit a depth of 60 feet. The large ones are going to hit 120 feet. So this, this more or less, as it bubbles, it moves upwards. Nothing stays really down close, right? So the ball will sink to the bottom like a stone, but the bubbles carry the scent all the way up, right? So okay. all of the like ingredients, an air pocket, pretty much. Uh, all of the all of the ingredients, the the scent oils. So the the corn we actually, like I said, we use the corn oil. The bubbles are carrying that corn oil and the fish oil through the entire waterfall. So even if fish, if you're in 100 feet of water and a fish is suspended at 50 and they swim across that, that uh, disturbance, they're still going to be exposed to it. You're not just chumming the bottom of the lake, you're not just chumming the surface, or, or if you throw, say, just whatever you're using for chum in, the, in a river and it carries that chum downstream, this will sink to the bottom, sit on the bottom, carry the scent downstream, and any fish downstream is gonna come up to figure out where that, where that food source is. Essentially, when they show up, they don't find anything, all they find is your bait. That's really cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so uh, hope oh, you know, thank you. Hope it uh, hope it works for you guys. And uh, and I mean, I mean you like I said, are, since we're fishing together, that way I can save mine for a while. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, you're such a nice friend. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have brothers and sisters like that? <laughs> you really care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the nice thing is, is like, we have guys that use them for trolling too. So when they're out, they'll yeah. uh, they'll just fire them as hard as they can in front of the boat. They essentially, troll through the cloud. Um, the, uh, there's guys that break them up. There's, I have one gentleman told me that he, uh, he uses a cheese grater and grates it over the side of his boat, almost like if you were watching like, Shark Week, and that's how he chum over the side of the boat. Well, it's just coming up on about uh, 10 a.m. So, so we're, uh, we're just taking a look at a few things. I just threw a few spots to get some more bait out. Uh, Jan's actually decided to do a little bit of feature finding, thinking maybe if we could find the channel in the middle of the river, um, putting a bait in the deeper water might actually bring some fish over to our lines. Um, haven't seen any activity in a little while. Like I said, there was one catfish caught first thing this morning. Uh, it's about four pounds or so, just to the, to the right of us. Yeah, just over on this side of us. Um, the guy had a screaming take. He had the fish on for a few minutes, and uh, by the time we got over there with the camera, it was gone. Unfortunately, and that was, that was about an hour and a half ago or so. So, you know, we're taking a look, changing things up, seeing what we can do. You know, we want to maximize our fishing time and make sure that we, we're doing what is going to get us a bite, uh, really up our chances. But it's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun so far, chatting with everybody. And uh, Carl from Bait Cloud actually came and did a bait demonstration of all the products. And, handed out a few freebies and wow what a, what a neat product and already we've, we've had a bunch of them go right out uh, all the way down I think everybody's probably using them now we've put a few out in our spot so uh, certainly the look of that bait gave us a lot of confidence so hopefully that'll produce some fish uh, 
certainly looking forward to using that at, at uh, some of my, my home spots like uh, the Welland River and things like that. I, I know that would be a bait to use for sure. So we're going to keep at it and uh, hopefully it won't be long before we get a fish. All right, so the fun is continuing over here, even though there's no bites, no fish going on uh, so far. Still relatively early, still anybody's game. And uh, we just got another visit. Um, earlier, like I mentioned, we, uh, we got to meet with Carl uh, from Bait Cloud. Got to check out his product. That was really cool. Um, looks like Steve from Carp Zoom decided to swing by, and he's made the rounds of just about everybody handing out goodie bags. So, I'm gonna dig into the carp zoom goodie bag here and see what I got. It's like Christmas all of a sudden. You see all of us are dancing around like kids. So what do we got here? Stuff I can't pronounce. <laughs> uh, it's a, looks like it's like a ground bait kind of additive. Uh, spirulina algae. Oh, yeah. Looks cool. Definitely something to mix in there. Uh, what else we got here? Carp Zoom High Concentrated Intensive Plus Aroma. What's the caramel? Caramel. Sweet crown bait. Salty corn. Yeah. Jeff, looks like you got the same thing, eh? No. No? You wanted it? We might have to start trading. It'd be like hockey cards when we're kids. Yeah, we can start that. <laughs> What do we got here? Oh yes, this is what I was hoping for. Given that we're on the Grand River and it's known for, apparently known for Old Spice. <laughs> a kilogram of fish halibut ground bait. So I will okay. be mixing that in with what I'm using today. Definitely. What else we got here? All-inclusive carp fanatic feeder sinking pellet vanilla. That's good stuff right there. Wow, that's a, that's a heck of a lot of stuff. You know, definitely a huge thanks to Steve from Carps and like all the guys are digging into their stuff now and everybody's got a huge smile on our face. So, you know, again, thank you so much, Steve. And uh, I'm definitely gonna be using some of this today because you, you've already sent along the things that I want to try out. So, really appreciate it. It's, uh, oh, you found the tiger nuts. The chili tiger nuts? Yeah. Jan got himself some chili tiger nuts, cartoon tiger nuts. Nice. What else did you get? Well, it's kind of the same stuff you got. I'll pull over. Ah. The same stuff you couldn't pronounce, the whatever it is. Oh, the, Ooh, the, the algae bait. stuff, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some bloody pellets, bloody halibut. Oh. Pre-drilled, so they're all nice. Nice. Ready to go. That's... See, I'm thinking that these these fish scents are what's going to do it today. And then I got pineapple boilies. Always good. Always good. And some feeder zoom ground bait. Good flavor. Let's see one there. Yeah, I'm figure it out. Oh, strawberry. Str strawberry. strawberry. And you've favorite. already had strawberry in today. And then I got my tiger nuts. Chili. Chili. Now, if it was colder, we'd probably be wanting to put those out. But you're I probably going to do that anyways, aren't probably you? Probably I'm going to give them a try and see if they catch any fish. Right on. All right, well, Jeff's playing plays. with everybody's alarms, so let's uh, go ahead and try and reestablish our game plan and see where we can go from there. Well, right now we are holed up in the bivy. Um, it's pouring out. It's been raining on and off all morning. Not too bad, but taking a good uh, good downpour right now. Just uh, in the bivy with Jan here. He's got it all set up. We got it rigged up as our chateau on the river. And uh, you're going to put together some rigs, aren't you? I'm going to try getting one going. What hooks you got there? I got uh, number six curve shank. And I'm going to be tying with uh, the cocoon green. Um, shrimp tube. Right on. Right Gotta try something, right? Yes. It's 
we've pretty much hit our halfway point. It's noon, so we got five hours left, and uh, there really hasn't been any activity other than the odd bump since that first hour. So we're hoping that things turn around. I've We've been playing with our depths, uh, going further out, going closer in. We've seen some nice fish rolling just past where we're casting, but they're like they're right at that edge where you know we really have to just launch it to get it over there. Yep. But it's actually since this rain got heavy, I haven't even seen any activity close in. I've actually moved my bait close in, and uh, I put together a PVA bag with some of the um, the halibut ground bait mix that uh, Steve gave me from carp zoom just to try and get that fishy smell you know it's the grand river my my theory is that these if i can get catfish around the carp will come by too but so far that's not done it you're kind of sticking with your strawberry right well i did uh somewhat yeah strawberry meat and i got uh some tiger nuts on there now chili yeah and hopefully that will give it a little bit of a boost and hopefully we get something on that and forward guessing game. Yeah, this is where the maybes are hitting us again. You know, maybe this will work, maybe that'll work. You know, I'm doing a doing a recast a little bit more often than I normally would. Been doing a lot more spawning out there. It's good practice. I'm really enjoying using that. I'm so glad I bought one. Uh, I just wish I would have gotten a bigger one. Uh, a bigger spawn would let me get a little bit more bait out there. Have a few less casts you've been spotting as well yeah trying to you know we've i think we've got a pretty good healthy bed of bait out there and we've had fish in front of us all morning which i think is i, I can't say for sure that the rest of the guys have had much activity in front of them but I have no idea. nobody's really talking the odd one they're mentioning rolling here and there but we've seen steady activity so we know they're here all we got to do is find that magic hook bait and see what they're going to take and uh Hopefully that'll happen soon. I'm gonna turn this around just so you can see how much rain we're getting right now. So this is our view from under the canopy. There's my rod there. You now it's just a little bit further over. So my, I'm fishing with the tip up. He's fishing with the tip down. You know the wind has picked up and changed a little bit. So you know it's just a matter of personal preference. But she's pouring right now. Not brutally hard, just enough to really get everything wet. But hopefully, things will turn around for us. Look at that heavy concentration on that face. Trying to do it right. Kind of one of the things we've we've talked about this morning. Should we go bigger hook baits? Should we go smaller hook baits? We've kind of we've kind of stuck to the smaller hook baits, haven't we? Yeah. Maybe we, maybe we just need to throw a 20 mil boilie out there and see what happens. Who knows? You never know. Okay, so it looks like one fish has been weighed in. Uh, just a little three pounder. Turns out that uh, everybody who came in today to fish I guess we split up into two different groups without realizing it. Most of us came to this big park where uh, where Jan and I are set up. It's where the majority of us are. And uh, there was another group, I guess, that stayed down further. And um, one of them just come up with a little three pound fish. So they've waited in, it's been marked down. That's the only carp so far. Uh, so again, changing tactics up a little bit. I uh, changed my hook bait. I started out with a piece of pop-up corn with a boilie. Um, we've, we've changed them a few times throughout the day, but right now I've got just a few pieces, a few small pieces of the uh, the salted corn, and I actually really proud of myself. Made my longest cast ever so far fishing with my carp gear. It 
it definitely got out to that channel. There's a 10 foot channel that we were trying to reach and we kept stopping shy of it. And I know I got it in there this time. That was a long bomb out there. So I got this tiny hook bait out in the middle of this channel with no other bait around it because I couldn't get my bait out that far. But uh, yeah, hopefully that'll do the business. The rain's dying down a bit. Maybe we'll get lucky and something will stir it up. So far doing the events, it's always been the afternoon bite, right? That's when everything seems to turn on, so. Well, that was the first one. It yeah, it was like 2.30. 2 yeah. And then the second one, the second event, that was when uh, Dave got his fish at, uh, I think about 12.30, and then I got one at 4, or 3.30, right before that bad storm hit us. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the third one because that's the one I didn't make it to where everybody caught fish. Yeah, it was, uh, I think there was 20 fish caught. That was a lot. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, Shot Donnie up to the lead. Yeah. Mike he, Green stayed way up in the top there as well. Yeah, he caught some nice carp, yeah. So, yeah, I was kind of hoping that, you know, a trip to the Grand, looking forward to bagging a lot of fish. I think the weather's having an effect on keeping it down. One tiny fish landed so far. I'm. I'm. I, I don't want to say that I'm. I'm not optimistic because I certainly am. I think we're still good for a bite. We're. I don't think we're doing anything wrong. I think the fish just aren't necessarily out in front of us right now. I think maybe they're in that channel or they're on the other Could side. Be, yes. But we'll see. If this rain lets up, we'll probably see some more activity, and then who knows? Alarms might start screaming. Rod tips might start bouncing, and we we could. You know, it could turn around at any moment. Yeah, you never know. We'd see 10 fish caught in an hour and then nothing again. Fish are unpredictable. Predictably unpredictable. Yeah. That's one way to look at it. Oh well, we'll just keep at it, keep trying. Look at that, Steve. You brought your products out right at the right time. Yeah, sometimes I don't do Facebook. How's it feel, buddy? Might be a turtle. I like turtle. What is. We don't know what it is. He had one earlier and it came off. Same sort of thing, it got stuck and came off. <laughs> It's not stuck, is it? No, he's coming in, whatever it is, it's just coming in slowly. Whatever it is, it isn't coming off the bomb at all. Sturgeon. <laughs> I've heard the bugs. I, I've heard that they're here, but I, I don't know. I've never actually seen any photos or anything. Man, it doesn't fucking move, man. It's like, keep the log. 
and angle. What if you slack off a bit? Will it pull any line? Maybe it's just stuck in a some timber or something. So he's wrapped in something. I don't know. You got a pineapple spray? I think I see one. I think I see one. So, unfortunately, that fish never made it in. We're not sure what it was. It must have got hung up on the edge of the drop off or wrapped into some timber or something. Uh, the line did end up snapping and he wasn't able to bring it in. So, you know, still pretty open. Just the three pound fish landed, that's it. So hopefully we can get into something. The tour boats are going by, so that may stir fish up. I know a lot of the rivers I fish, well in the river and stuff, a boat goes by and fish start moving, so sometimes you can really pick one off then. Uh, you know, just hanging out over there with Steve and talking to him more about the, the Carp Zoom products and checking out some of the table that he set up for everybody to look at all the different baits and stuff. And, kind enough to hand me another bag of ground bait. It's a carp zoom honey ground bait. I can smell it through the bag. It smells awesome. So I'll definitely want to try that. So yeah, still a, a great day. It's always a great day hanging out with these guys and having a lot of fun. You know, the rain's been on and off, but just want one of these rods, mine or yawns, to, you know, just scream off and get a nice big fish. You know, that's two bites to the same line to the one side of us. Little bit of activity, but not a whole lot. We still got fish rising, still got fish feeding out in front of us. Just need to find that magic little rig that's gonna put the hook in. So we're gonna keep at it, keep going. We still got a few hours to go. Well, update time. Uh, it's just after three. I think we're in and around, yeah, 3.30. And, uh, you know, we're recasting, changing things up, still really working for a bite. Um, the group that's further down, so earlier they got the three pounder. I guess another guy in that group got an eight pounder. So currently the eight pounder is holding the lead. Um, unfortunately, nothing over at this end in the park. It, you know, so many lines in, so many different tactics and techniques and the maybes are, are just doing us all in. We're all changing things up, trying to figure out what's going on. We're seeing fish rising, but they're not putting their heads down. Not even a catfish or a sucker's been caught, so. Not sure what it is, but you know, that that's how it's going so far. An eight pound fish is, is in the lead for the for the prize. We'll see, see what happens. But hour and a half left, still got a chance. Look at that, half an hour. Jesse I just gets... changed up the bait too. Yeah. Oh, it's a catfish, Jesse. It's gotta be a catfish. Good take though. Oh yeah. I don't know, it might not be a catfish. You still got it on there? He swam right at ya. Okay, Jesse, let's let's get the crying face. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. Did you see it? No. Well, we got 30 minutes left, and Jesse just lost a nice fish, unfortunately. Just a screaming run. We were all scrambling. Just, <laughs> you know, I'm running for the camera. Everybody else is running for boots and the net, and nobody was expecting something to happen that quick. But yeah, it was a nice fish. Unfortunately, it's gone. So, 
Still 30 minutes left. Who knows what's gonna happen, right? Last 10 minutes. Unfortunately, I have gone the entire day without a bite. Um, I, I think it's part of the way I've got my rig tied. I should have retied. I should have done something different. Um, there were several times where I brought my line in for a recast or change of bait, and it was tangled right up. So I'm, I'm confident that, that was happening on my casts. So you know, it might be my own fault that I didn't get a take. Um, you know, we've had bites on on the swims on either side of us. You know, we've seen the activity out here. Jan and I really put the effort in. Unfortunately, we didn't do it. But we tried. We tried. Yeah, definitely tried. But you know, it was still a fun day. Got to hang out with the, the carp club gang. It, you know, always a lot of fun. A lot of great chatter. Um, you know, just a lot of great people overall. You know, we had uh, Bait Cloud come and do a bait demonstration for us. Uh, you know, Carp Zoom was on site showing us uh, world classic baits, uh, tackle and baits and Carp Zoom products. Uh, we all got a Carp Zoom catalog to take home and. I can guarantee you I will be looking through that when I get home tonight. You know, overall, just a, a, a wonderful day. And I have to also say thanks to Jan for no problem. fishing with me in the swim today. But, yeah, yeah, we tried. We tried everything. So hopefully next time we'll, we'll get a fish on. You never know. Yeah, hopefully. There's... It was a beautiful day out. A little bit of rain. But... Yeah, even, even the rain, you know, it was wet. But you had your, your bivy and... Yeah. We were able to stay dry and comfortable. Lots of damn room in that thing, that's for sure. But, you know, last couple minutes, something could happen. Somebody could turn it all around with one 20 pound fish, who knows? But overall, just a, a great day out. And, you know, we got one event left of the season, which uh, should be held in October. We're still locking down the details for that, but you can bet that we're gonna do everything we can to be there and, and uh, make sure that we can enjoy that as well. So yeah, pretty much gonna sign off from here today. You know, a, a bit of a bust. There was only three fish caught, all from the far end. Uh, you know, I think the biggest was eight pounds, then like a five and a three, and that was it. So, you know, not, not a big bag it in day, but still fish were caught, that's what matters. Fun time, great people. So until next time, yeah, I just will uh, just have to plan a new, new strategy. So oh, I just wrapped up the video and all of a sudden we hear fish on. So we've come all the way down to the far end and it looks like Brian. Nice fish, buddy. Cutting it down to the wire, eh? It's getting close there, boss. Better be a 30. Six, seven down. Maybe. Seems like that's time nine on that square. I say seven and a half. Eight now. Calm down, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I need to know if it hits the nine. Not quite in the nine, but it's just past the eight. Eight what? Eight something. You want to release your fish, or am I doing this for you? It's a healthy fish. Oh yeah. So talk about scraping in your last minute fish. Brian Brown with an eight and a half pounder. I think they said eight five or eight six. Uh, so a nice little fish, literally in the net at two minutes to five. So, you know, there's some more points for him. Good for him. 
But there we go, thought the day was over and right at the last second, a fish comes through. So yeah, now today it's officially over. We're packing things up, heading home, waiting for the next event.